Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really, really wonderful smoke effect hair, kind of portrait, ephemeral, vibey kind of picture with this lovely sort of pink and purpley kind of vibe. So to do this, we're going to need to have a photograph of some smoke. Um, I've looked around and I found this picture that I really like, so I'm going to use this one. And we will need a face to add to the smoke effect. So we need to go to File, Place Embedded, search through our folder till we find the face that we want. Click Place, and you can see there we have a face. Now, there are different ways to do this, but today I'm going to show you how to do it using a layer mask. First thing I'm going to do is rasterize the layer. Then I'm going to click on to the layer mask you can see it there then I'm going to make sure I have got the right color I'm going to get paint bucket and I've got black paint bucket I click on it and I mask out the entire face you can see there is no face anymore then I switch to the white paint and the paint brush and I make sure I've got a soft brush and the right kind of size then I start to find the face and bring it back into the image. So you can see I'm bringing in the eyes, around the chin, the nose, etc. I want to look at how much face I bring in so that I keep that kind of smoky vibe going on around it. Bring in some neck, like so. Now, if I use a very big edged soft round brush I can blend it really subtly into the smoke and if I do too much I can switch the shape of my brush over so I can start to fade it back out again so what we want is that half face half smoke kind of vibe and then I can use a smaller brush with a hard edge and I can really bring the detail back in where I need it. Crack at the edge of the face exactly how I want it around here. Now, we keep playing around with soft edge and hard edge brushes so that you can then get it exactly how and where you want your image. You want to go a bit bigger, you change the size up here and you just experiment. I don't like that line there, but I also want the eye back like this. So, watch that like there. And then it will look like the face is turning into a smoke effect, like so. We can obviously click on it with the move tool. We can move the face around if we're not happy with where it is until we get it exactly where we want it. And we can also change the color of the face so it matches the smoke. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments. If it doesn't click on here, I need to make sure I've pressed Enter on the keyboard and I've selected the face layer. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Hue Saturation. I can change the hue slightly to make it slightly more pinky. I can saturate it more if I, or less. And I can make it lighter or darker depending on how I want it to fit with the image. Now I've done that, I'm not very happy with this bit down the bottom, so I'm going to go back to my layers, making sure I've clicked on the layer mask here, so it's got a white border. Get the brush, and go back over, make sure I've got the right color, and make sure I've got it blended exactly how I want it. So I need to swap it around, like so. Now, on this one, I've added an extra layer with this pink effect to it, which I think is really effective. So I'll show you how to do that. Over here, you click on the new layer menu, you get a new layer. You make sure you've got the right colors that you want. So I could use the eyedropper to select part of this color. Click on the little arrow and then select on the other color. So I've got the pink and the white. Then I use the gradient tool, which is hiding behind the paint bucket and I can draw a short little gradient over it. You'll see that it covers the whole image. So I go to my layer mode and I go to multiply and then my image will be seen through the 
layer effect. So there you are. That is a smoke effect portrait done in Photoshop the easy way. We've used a layer of smoke, um, a layer of face with a layer mask, and we've added a gradient on top. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you have, obviously pop over to Nature of Flowers on YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tick the notification bell, and obviously give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and have a really good day. Okay, bye now.